Hey, Lenny Fash. It is the 5th of February, 2023. Do pray you're well. I was just led to do a little follow-up here on this uh, mysterious handprint that the archaeologists can't seem to figure out. Now, I can't find anything in the last day on this handprint that they found. In other words, they're not talking about it. They've given very little out on it, and now it's just gone away, basically. The only article I could find recently, which was yesterday, it's the most recent one that I can find, uh, is still just the mystery of the carved hand. Because when I looked into this, it's interesting how I found stuff that these archaeologists should have known all along. They should not be looking at this as mysterious. At the very least, they should be looking at it from what they already know. And what they already know is, now, this article came out on the 3rd, the same day I made the video. I didn't know this article was out, but Israel is investigating whether the U.S. violated the law by giving stolen artifact to the Palestinian Authority, and it's this very common kind of symbol from way back. This dates back, I believe, to the 8th century BC, and that's kind of what I'm getting at anyway in a second here. But yeah, you know, a lot of symbolism in that to several different cultures and gods and whatnot. But what I wanted to show you is that this piece was found in this place called Kirbet el Kam. And so I went to Kerbet El Kam, and I go there, and I'm reading down there, you know, and the Iron Age uh, history of it, and I get down here, 8th century BCE. Think about that. That's that's the the first temple still standing. It's in the same time frame. This is before Jeremiah. This is you know not long before Jeremiah, and subsequently the destruction of the temple and the disappearance of the Ark of the Covenant. But look at this. The inscription from Tomb 2 is associated with a magic hand. Do you believe that? But this magic hand is called a hazma. And you can read a lot about this. But, again, what caught my attention was, well, there's a bunch of things that caught my attention. But early use of the hazma could be traced to ancient Mesopotamia. Think about that. Amulets of the goddess Inanna or Ishtar, 8th century BCE Israelite tomb containing a Hamza-like hand inscription was discovered at Kerbet el Kam, the same place we just came from. Now you tell me, they can't make the, the difference. They have no idea what this is. That's my whole point of making this. Why are they telling the world, we don't know what this is, move on, when... At the very least, you would think some archaeologists would be speculating that it could be the Hazma, <laughs> which is also referred to as the Hand of Mary or the Hand of Miriam. Remember the lady in the Raiders of the Lost Ark movie, right? So this has to do with the Lost Ark. In my view, it does. And there's the Hand, the Hazma. The hand of Miriam, whose brother Moses made the ark. Come on now, you got to be kidding me. And you can clearly see the Jewish connection if you read on here. It is speculated that Sephardic Jews were among the first to use the amulet due to their beliefs about the evil eye. See, this all goes to Osiris and so on and so forth. The symbol of the hand appears in what? Kabbalistic manuscripts and amulets. There's a lot of interesting information in here if you're willing to go in and, and look into it. I understand it's Wikipedia, but there's some things you just can't hide. So why does it seem, you know, again, I'm just speculating currently, it seems to me that this should be a widely known symbol to archaeologists. It simply should be. And it dates back to the 8th century B.C., right before Jeremiah and the temple being destroyed. 
and the ark disappearing. It is to ward off the evil eye, right? It's even referred to somewhere in here as the hand of God right here however the notion of a protective hand has been present in judaism dating back to biblical times where it is referenced in deuteronomy 515 stated in the ten commandments that are in the ark of the covenant as the strong hand of god who led the jews out of egypt the hasma is later seen in jewish art as God's hand reaching down from heaven during the times of late antiquity. It's used by Ashkenazi Jew communities from this period is well known. Look at, often associated with sympathetic magic. So there's a lot to this symbol that obviously they don't want to present to the public. If I'm led to continue researching this, I most certainly will report it to you. I just had to follow up with that. I really did. I'll link everything I got. God bless each and every one of you. Truly, peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 